Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Ruthie's Crafting Corner. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Today is Thursday, May 2nd, and I thought I would come and share with you an update of some of the projects and things I'm working on and what I have acquired. Um, first, a very warm welcome to the returning subscribers and to the new subscribers. A very warm welcome and thank you for coming to visit today. So, I have been introduced to the Red Heart Scrubby Sparkle yarn. There's the label. My aunt, who I speak very fondly of and mentioned to her being my mentor and you know we talk a lot she's a couple hours away from me each way and i just haven't been able to visit but as soon as the little ones the little kittens get healed and are good to go i'm gonna go over there and spend the day with them but anyhow a friend of hers made these scrubbies Okay, and she told me on the phone, sorry, I dropped one. Let me grab it. She called me on the phone and told me about it. And I go, wow, I, I don't know about this sparkle yarn. And um, I goes, it sounds like it would be glitter and stuff. She goes, no, it's not. And um, she really likes it. So lo and behold, she sent me one in an envelope and she sent me this one. And let's see. Her friend cast on 40 stitches and did two rows of the black and the, the orange and the black. And to me, this just says Halloween. To my husband, he says, it looks like a caterpillar. We do have these caterpillars that especially like the oleander plants. And they're orange with these black hairs on them and they're terrible. They'll eat, you know, all the leaves and stuff. And oleanders are poisonous anyway to have in your yard. But that <laughs> it reminds him of a caterpillar. So I thought that was funny. So I thought I'd share that. So anyhow, my aunt has used hers and she loves it. She says it suds up really nicely in the sink. And she's washed it and dried it and it's been fine. So I ordered two skeins of the scrubby yarn off of Hershner's just to see if I like it. And um, so I got the color Blueberry and Honeydew. Well, here's the Blueberry one. This one I believe I did 36 stitches across, thinking it would be a little bit smaller. And there's both sides. So you just knit each row back and forth, back and forth. It's a garter stitch. So. It's really easy to work with. It's very soft, so I really like it. I will be able to use this now that I have, you know, found the yarn and everything, and I'll let you know how I like it and everything, but I'm sure it'll be wonderful. So then I did another one, and this one is the 40 inches. I'm about to drop the other scheme here. And there you go. And then yesterday I did this one. This pattern is inside the yarn band, the yarn ball band, and it's cast on 27 stitches, and you do two rows of each color, or you can do what you want, actually. But that's what it says for 19 rows. Now it does say um, just to carry your color up the side. You don't wanna cut the ends and everything. You know, when you're doing it, you just carry it up the side. You can't even tell, right? My aunt asked me, well, did I find knots in the orange and black? I go, no. So maybe she found somewhere. Maybe the, you know, her friend might have cut it in the beginning. But you just carry it up the side. And it's no big deal. There are no knots to weave in, um, to tie off. And you just weave in your ends like you would anything else. So that's a real nice size, too. I'm thinking that might be a nice face scrubby too. So I did that. And then yesterday I went to Joann's to get more sparkle yarn because I really like it and I think it would be great to um to gift or even a great craft show thing that you could, you know, sell. 
at. So let me show you what I got. I got, well, one of them I'll show you. I got two of these and it's called Ice Pop. It's a very pretty turquoise color. So last night I started this one. And I decided to use my straight knitting needles because before I was using my circulars because I really like it because you can set it down and not worry about stitches, you know, coming off. But they're whole, they're really, you know, not going to go anywhere. But um, so I used these so I can use my other needles. And I think I did, oh, I don't know, two, four, six. I did 36 because I think 36 would be good. 40 is a little big, but 36, I marked, marked it down somewhere, but I don't have it near me. So I'm just going to keep knitting it until it's the size I want. And let's see, let me show you the other colors I got. I will put this back in a yarn holder. Let me grab the bag. It'll be a little noisy. So, I did go a little overboard, but I plan on making a lot of these. So here's the other um, ice pop. That's what it is. Yeah, and these are a three ounce skein, 85 grams, 174 yards is what you get. The recommended knitting needle is eight. US five millimeter and it's a hundred percent polyester. So I got the two blues, I got two avocado, very pretty. Try to get some of the shine on it. I got two strawberry. So pretty to me. I got two more blueberry. You can see on the pattern. I'll try to hold it up. See how they did the stripes on it? But, you know, solids are nice too. So I would just do whatever you feel like. I have a lemon, which is stunning, right? So summer and refreshing. And I did one orange. It's very pretty. One black. And did I show the watermelon? I don't think so. This is watermelon. So I'm thinking, okay, solids are great, right? Okay. So I was also thinking, because I'm so like, summer's here, all right? So I was thinking green for like a watermelon, the rind, a little watermelon pink, and then a few little black dots in there for the seeds and have like a little watermelon dishcloth for summertime. There's the yellow and the orange would be gorgeous. Or each on their own. And the blueberry and that ice pop would be pretty or not and then the strawberry and the green would be pretty for the holiday too i don't know i'm gonna make a lot of plain ones for sure but i you know i really like it otherwise i wouldn't have gone and got a lot more of that i plan on making a bunch <laughs> I think it would be nice. I'm opening my dishcloth thing. I've showed you where I keep a container of dishcloths I make, so it keeps them clean and everything. I think that ice pop dishcloth would be pretty with a knit dishcloth as a set. Can you see that together? Wouldn't that be pretty? Just to, you know, just a gift for no reason even. Um, here's one of my mitered square dishcloths I made. Let's see about the blueberry in that. That would be nice. I have 
also green and yellow. I mean, my goodness, right? So I think it would be either a nice gift together, like a set, even a like um, towel, you know how people take a hand towel and they crochet the topper on it. That would be really nice to a uh, scrubby knit dish cloth or washcloth and um, a towel. Sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> but anyhow, I was going off on the scrubby thing, as you can see. They're really nice though. Trust me, they aren't rough at all. They're easy to knit with. I think it would even be easy to um, crochet. The little strand, it's so easy to see when you're in, there's the little strands right up here. You can see them right on the hook. Same with crochet. I think it would be easy either way. I might crochet one just for the heck of it to see how it goes, you know? Okay, let's see. An update on my shawl. It is a Karen cake. Um, <laughs> cake of yarn. And it is the color buttercream. And it's coming along. It won't curl at the end. Those are my stitch markers down there. I would love to finish this and start another shawl. This is called The Easiest Shawl by Goddess Crochet. I'm going to use the whole cake. As you can see, I got quite a bit more to do, but this is it. If I just get on it and stay on it, that is, it'll move fast. The pink blanket with the pinks and the purples that I shared before, I really haven't done much on that or showed any love to that, but I will. I think the um, scrubbies are a nice little break between a bigger project. You know, you, you can just mindless knit, 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 because it's all knit. Um, but like I was doing the shawl and, and a zoom meetup and it's like, okay, so I write down, it's only a two row repeat, but when you're talking and everything, you, you're not sure. It's like, what well, did I just do the knit or the increase or which row? So I mark down each one, you know, and just circle and keep track of it while I'm doing the zoom, but I think the dishcloth or the scrubby would be great to do, mindless like, and accomplishing something as you're sitting chatting with your friends. Um, let's see, what else? Hmm. I think that was it. I did go to a craft show. Let me grab this. I wasn't gonna share it on this video, but I am going to show you something I got. I'll share one real quick. So I went to a craft show and I am um, this lady. It's just something so whimsical that makes you smile. It is a roll of paper towels and she put a face on it. Okay, with a Sharpie or whatever with the go little googly eyes or whatever and all that. Then she puts different types of little sponges on top. Here is a dishcloth, washcloth or whatever you know, a dishcloth, and then a towel, a hand towel. And she uses those tea pins to hold it in place. Everything. And it's like, it's just something to sit on your counter that make would make you smile. I mean, she says, oh, there, you know, a couple ladies were standing there and they go, she goes, oh, and everything's usable. It's like, oh my. I think it's just cute sitting on the counter, even though I hate to have stuff on my counters, but I think, you know, I think it's whimsical and cute. And this one has like coffee, you know, all kinds of coffees and cookies. And I thought that is just the cutest thing ever. But that's what I thought. And I got a several other that I got as gifts, just something little. You know, and the lady has a bunch behind her table that she just can't stop making them. She enjoys making them so much. So I told her, oh, what a great idea. Something that makes you smile. But, you know, she enjoys it. She gets the matching cloth and hand towel and a little scrubby. It might be um, a little round scrubby, a sponge, you, whatever it is, it is. Um, let me set this down here. Okay, 
So I'm gonna um, make this one a little, I try to keep them short, but this has gone 15 minutes because I went into showing that and I probably rambled a little bit. But I will be sharing a small video of the kittens separate from this because I'm trying to do the life and times with uh, little one is the mom, Lucky and Muffy and their, their girls. And um, I, I just thought I would share a small little video of them. Today, after I upload this one, I will do that one. I've already got some photos and a couple videos, so y'all will be able to see a little bit of change in them. And They've had their surgery and they're doing well. So, thank you again. Oh, another thing. I got a beautiful Easter card from Sharon and from Sharon's, oh, oh my goodness. Sharon's Crochet Corner, I think, and Janet LaPree sent me one by email, which is so thoughtful. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Sharon, for thinking of me and sending the Easter cards. I enjoyed it immensely. So, that being said, I'm going to get off of here, and I will talk to you soon. So, have a wonderful day and week, and I will chat with you soon. Take care, and God bless. Bye.